I'm not because I see him do it every day. Um, he's super talented, works at it every day. Um, you know, some of those those punts you just don't see, especially seeing three of them. You know, you'll see a 70-yard punt once in a while, and it's it's spectacular. That alone to have three of them, uh, it's pretty special. And um, you know, it's a it's a it's something he works at all the time. And then to have DT go down there and down that one at the two was, uh, you know, just made it even better. So. Those are, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're able to watch a, a very, very talented punter and, uh, you know, Pro Bowl talent. And, uh, you know, I don't know if, it, you know, hopefully this is his year. If it's not, uh, he deserves it. You know, he's a, he's a special player. Uh, we're lucky to have. I was, uh, um, I'm fortunate to, to, to have him here. You got, you know, the Jacksonville Jaguars draft him and I just walk into a spectacular player. And I want to ask you about a guy in coverage. I know Daniel Thomas does a pretty good job and everything, but it just seems to me that Caleb Johnson always seems to be around the returner or always around the ball when you're trying to down it on a punt and everything. So you speak a little bit about the job Caleb Johnson's done this year. Yeah, you know, when he came available from Chicago, he was a guy that we targeted, said that we'd love to have this guy, let's pick him up. And uh, and he's exceeded expectations. We knew he was going to be a good player, but he's been even better. Um, he's got good hand, you know, great hands, good physicality. Um, he's got a good instinct and good feel to get to the ball. Um, you, know, it, um, you know, his ability to uh, get off blocks, he has good length. Uh, to get off him, and um, you know he's just always around the football. He's been a key to um, you know our our coverage units, and as well as uh, as our return game. You know he's a spectacular blocker uh, in the kick return and punt return game. Chad played his least number of special team snaps, and Devin I think played his most. How did that change? How did that change sort of impact the the, the coverage units? Yeah, it didn't. You know, and that's the thing about it is you know Chad has still played a couple phases, and I think that'll be a week to week basis depending on what they're doing defensively. Um, and, and we love having Chad. I spoke to, about him last week, how great he is. And, and, and uh, you know, Devin is, sits in all the meetings. And so he's been preparing um, and waiting, you know, for that opportunity to help us out any way he can. And he's all in. You know, he'll play as much as he can, as much as, you know, we have room for him. So um, he did a great job as well. You know, there wasn't a ton of opportunities, uh, you know, with only one punt return and a bunch of touchbacks. But he's in the right positions. He cares. He wants to learn them. He's coming along nicely. Where I'm happy where Devin's at as well. Getting ready for an indoor game. Do you have Riley change where he kicks? Does he kick in the indoor more this week since you're going up to play inside in Detroit? Does that matter? No, no. And honestly, it's uh, you know classic uh, special teams. You know we'll kick inside for or outside for practice, but we got to find space where we can. So we'll go inside anyway, like we always would do, um, and do some extra kicks. So it doesn't change us a ton as far as what we're doing or what our our plan is. Um, it, it, you know, the, obviously for specialists, it's a bit, you know, it's an advantage and I don't have to deal with any wind and it's just more of a natural, you know, ball. So um, that part's better. That's kind of exciting. But so much is, uh, you know, you can't overlook that. You know, it's a some sometimes guys get in there, they get so excited to kind of have a, have that great, you know, no elements. And then all of a sudden you don't you put your uh, your best kicks out there. So uh, it's something we just got to kind of focus in on just, hey, it's a clean ball. Still got to strike it the same way. All the same thing, stuff we work on all the time. And he already knows that place pretty well, so <laughs> I mean, he, he shouldn't have to worry about it. the elements or getting used to it. Yeah, I'd say it's always unique, probably going back to your to your former team. Uh, but I, I think it's probably going to be exciting for him to see some of those old coaches and old players that he's got. I know he has a good relationship with several of them, so I think that's it's always cool to go back and see some of those guys. So Riley, he'll feel very comfortable. Sorry. Should Riley have kicked that squib a little bit? deeper the other day. Yeah, I mean, we didn't do it quite exactly what we were looking for, uh, but that's part of the, you know, it's something we work on all the time, and we'll continue to work it, and uh, loved it, loved to get him down, uh, you know, a little sooner. That guy did a really good job returning him. Uh, you know, he returned it pretty far, and it's, it's more than we were hoping for, um, but, uh, you know, that's ball. We just got to find a way to get him down sooner. Um, we were able to win, and that's all that matters. Uh, you know, I thought we did a good job in coverage overall, and we did a good job on special teams versus a very good unit. That's you know one of the better groups over the years, and I thought our guys played really really well. It ended up not mattering, but what went into the decision to squib it rather than just knock it in the back of the end zone? Uh, there's always several ways to go about that. You know, it's uh, you're dealing with a great returner. That's a very very good returner. You're also dealing with a very good kicker. Uh, that that group is very very good, and it's such an emphasis there. Um, those are the uh, you know those are the things we talk about all week each week. Even throughout the game, what is our you know what is our thought process? And so, uh, you know, Coach Peterson and I talk about that throughout the game, and we did on that play of what's the best opportunity, and we we can do it different ways. Um, but on that instant, we thought, hey, we can waste five seconds, you know, roughly five seconds, and 
and, and take a play away from their offense. Um, so that's just kind of weigh it out. You kick them and kick it out and you take no time off, or you're able to take off those extra couple seconds uh, and take a play away from them. Good. Good. Right. Thank you. Cool? Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it.